Meteorologist Alex Forbes joins us now with your full forecast. Alex, it looks like we're going to have a pretty nice July 4th with the weather. Yes, we're about 40 minutes away from Independence Day. We are going to see average temperatures. Not a lot of humidity is going to be fantastic outside. So let's go ahead and start off down in Warner Robins, Houston County. Look from Houston Medical Center, 72 degrees. Dew point is 70, a little on the sticky side, but not too bad out there. It's going to be fantastic tomorrow, though. Here's a look at live radar. Not much going on across central Georgia. Pull out the picture. Here we go. High pressure up to the north towards Missouri and Indiana. That's what's driving our weather hundreds, mi hundreds of miles away. See that northerly wind there. Here's this front down along the south that came through here yesterday. It stalled out down along the south. So if you're headed south for the fourth tomorrow, say down on the Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, Gulf Coast, could run into a few showers because that front is down there, but we're looking a okay here in central Georgia. 71, the current number in Macon. A few 60s on the map. Pair of sixes there in Gordon, 69 in Forsyth and in Sandersville, 70 in Cochrane and in Eastman and in Swainsboro as we come up on midnight and as we roll into Sunday. 71, the current dew point in Warner Robins, 69 in Macon. So it's slightly sticky, but not too bad outside. Certainly, uh, we'll call it manageable as of now as we are rolling through this uh, Saturday evening. All right, you may not have noticed, but future view rolled through most of the day tomorrow. No green specks on the map, not looking at much in the way of scattered showers, but here we go. There we go. It moved again. No movement in terms of rain, so we are looking fantastic for fireworks tomorrow night. We do have a 20% chance of rain tomorrow down to the south, closer to that stationary front, but I think 99.9% .9 of us are going to stay dry as we roll through the day on Sunday. Then once we get into Monday, here comes the humidity. Here comes a few scattered showers, some rain possible right around 6 p.m., and then we'll do it all again on Tuesday. Notice starting a little earlier on Tuesday, some scattered showers by the noon hour as we get a piece of energy moving up here from the Gulf of Mexico. 92 degrees the high for your 4th of July. Tomorrow not too humid. Winds out of the east at about 5 miles an hour and the sun will be setting at 846. So if you're planning on fireworks, plan for those right around 9, 930 or so. Here's a look at the dew points. A 59 degree dew point at 5 o'clock on the 4th of July in central Georgia. That is fantastic. But then, like I said, once we get back into Monday, here we come back with the humidity and the Gulf moisture. Dew point at 71 by 8 p.m. on Monday. So let's take a look at the long range models. Like I said, we're going to see a return to the scattered shower and storm activity on Monday and Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, What's down in southeast Georgia is going to be what's left of Elsa, which is currently a tropical storm here in the Caribbean Sea. It winds at about 65 miles an hour, weakened ever so slightly, but notice the speed. We were talking about it moving at 30 miles an hour yesterday. It's down to 17 miles an hour, and the forecast cone has it skirting the gap between Cuba and Jamaica and then rolling over Cuba and into the Gulf of Mexico, somewhere near Tampa as we get into Tuesday, and then up through Georgia and the Carolinas, eventually into the Norfolk, Virginia Beach area by the time 30 Thursday rolls around, so we could be looking at a few impacts here in central Georgia. It's too early to talk about specifics, but could be seeing some of our rain midweek driven by Elsa. Do have tropical storm warnings in effect for parts of the Caribbean, but the thing to note is that we do not have tropical storm watches in effect for the keys of Florida, and I expect those to be expanded as we head into tomorrow. So here's a look at the spaghetti models. You can see there's kind of a, a wide array of them still anywhere from Panama City all the way out into the Atlantic is the uh, the plan for Elsa as we get into to the middle part of the week and then it goes off into the northeast and is no longer any of our concerns. So impacting the Caribbean tonight, tomorrow, we're talking about potential Florida impacts starting on Monday. So I know this week is a popular travel week down to the Sunshine State. You're not going to see a whole lot of sunshine from Elsa, but if you're headed down there, keep that in mind and then potential central Georgia impacts would occur on Wednesday if we see anything. So as for tomorrow, temperature is 77 by 9 a.m., 83 by noon, and a 20% chance of rain down to the south. I don't think we're going to see a lot of it, but still a chance of it. So 91 for your high on Monday, a 30% chance of rain. Then uh, rain chances will see a slight increase as we head towards Wednesday. We're watching Elsa. Otherwise, below the average of 93, we don't have much room to complain about the weather as we begin the month of July. Avery?